My friends, we are at this beautiful place called the Jacob's Well. It's another haunting legend and tale. The story goes, divers have drowned in this well that we're heading towards right now in this beautiful trail. The weather is cool and crisp, a little windy, quiet, but you could hear the families nearby and there is families walking these trails. We'll be very careful not to record them, give them their privacy. Above, there's a lot of birds flying over us. There is a lot. I would say 10. They're huge, beautiful birds. Can you see them? Wow. As we take in this beauty of this place, it's quite amazing and so green. We are so close to the well. It says no swimming or diving, of course. I wonder if this well has any water in it. Something tells me it doesn't. I don't know, I just have that feeling. These trails are amazing because this is a perfect way to get some exercise. And the reason why we're here is because there's haunting tales and legends that the people that, that drowned in Jacob's well haunt this place. Hey, there's some information about Jacob's well over here. Oh, we have to go down there. It's like pet cemetery all over again. Jacob's well natural area. Native Americans. There were there are prominent Indian tribes that roamed the area surrounding Jacob's well. The Jamano and later the Comanche early, early settlers eventually pushed out the Comanche. These groups were semi-nomadic and as a result of little evidence remains today. Jacob's Well goes back in 1909. Southwest Texans Normal, Normal School Senior Picnic, Jacob's Well, 1913. That is amazing. <laughs> They're playing in the water right here. After the drought of the 1950s, a heavy, heavy rain washed gravel from the dry creek bed in Jacob's Well. Local landowners came together to finance a drag line to clean out the well. They then built a concrete diversion wall around the well to prevent it from filling in again. This well still stands today. That's pretty crazy. How neat of this history. And we're here because people have attempted to dive into this well. It's huge. And they drown because of the sticky bottom of this well and they get trapped. And there's more to this legend story of the haunting ghostly tales. And I'm going to share that with you, my friends. So let's hike down there. This is great exercise, my friends. So if you're in this area, look up Jacob, Jacob's well. This is so beautiful well worth it and believe me you'll get your exercise oh this is steep <laughs> look how amazing this this trail is and the rocks and the rails all made out of wood oh, we're going so fast hold on my little legs can't do it hold on you're going too fast i can't do it look at the trees how amazing the rails are actually pretty smooth Oh goodness, this is a heck of a deep walk. Oh, see, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Take your time. I'm not used to this. Slippery. We need some better traction shoes. 
I think it's probably down there. You want to go down there? It's both. Wow, look how massive this area is. There's more, I guess, you could hike through. We're not going to do that. We're going to go just to the well and come back out. We're not going to go hiking. Maybe some other time for you guys. But today, we are looking for ghosts. Which way you want to go? This way? You want to go that way? We both lead to it. All right, let's go this way. It's a narrow little entrance here. It's pretty neat. The rocks, along with this rock wall, very smooth, so you got to be careful with your step. It's nice. We have a beautiful sunny day. It's perfectly cold, not hot, and wow. You gotta be careful with your step because that is a deep dive fall. So be careful. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I'm excited, my friends. This is so neat and so beautiful. So, do you think, my friends, that there's ghosts haunting this creek. People have not made it. And I wonder who discovers these bodies. This is a, um, wow, what is that? Oh, that's creepy. Okay, we're going down there. Wow. Wow, look at how narrow the step is. Oh my gosh. It's like going through a little cave. Oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. I mean, it's small for me, and I'm small. I can't imagine people trying to fit through there. Whew, I'm already out of breath. Oh, my goodness. Really? You go first. Oh, there's fish. Is that the well? Why is Jacob's Well a haunted location? Just look at it. It's deep. It's dark. It's eerie. Located in Wimberley, Jacob's Well is a little scary for more than just a haunted lore. It is known as a potential dangerous spot for divers. 
there are a series of chambers and thick, sticky soil at the bottom of this. So here's some information of the natural limestone that's created this. Water has dissolved through it. There's holes, caves, tunnels that eventually lead to the this whole underground, this whole groundwater that is stored. As the water flows through the limestone is filtered, leaving it clear as, ex as it exits the spring. So there's this really neat map of the whole, how the system is working. So we figured that the water is rising or is pushing up through here, up until here. Look how deep this well is. That's why I think the divers get stuck or they drown or something goes wrong. I think this is why there's ghosts here and why they they haunt this wow because look how deep this challenge is for this drive divers to go about 50 feet down it's incredible it is a very deep wow According to the Houston Chronicle, at least 12 people have died trying to explore the Tetris waters, making it a prime haunting grounds for the restless spirits who met a tragic end. None were certified cave divers, but the proper equipment said Greg Tantum, Jacob's Well project director. So this has been written by Greg Tantum in his article. Hmm. So if they were professional professionals, divers, I mean, they would have had a chance because this is just incredible. This is 4,500 long. I mean, this is an incredible project to conquer as a diver. That is a huge risk if you're not a professional diver. Some thrill seekers come to infamously dangerous sea cove, like us, looking for hints that drown spirits that haunt the spot. And we're here, we're here. And people have died in that Jacob's well. And we're here. Ooh, that's haunting, that's kind of spooky. Inside the well are three tunnels principal tunnel A, B, and C, which are not diveable. A tunnel 4,500 feet long, he said, a tough part of the cave includes a tight restriction that divers have to squeeze through. This dive is not for everyone. Here are some birds at the Jacob's Well natural area. So look out for these beautiful, wondrous birds. Aren't they gorgeous? We did um, spot a few of them. Hey, my friends, so we have found a birding station. I am out of breath. That is a heck of a trail going up from the Jacob's Well. And we found a birding station along the path to go to our parking spot. This is audio tour too. If you want to do audio, they'll give you a really cool audio speaker for your phone. Just take a picture and there you go. So let's check out this bird station. 
maybe we'll find some birds. Well, there is some really cute birds that we've heard in the grass. It's really beautiful. What a beautiful setup. This redwood station. You can sit down, enjoy the peace. And then there's information along the wall. And then you can just enjoy the cute bird station. Oh gosh, this is cute. There's owls here. That we need to see an owl here. Look along here, my friends. Look out through this beautiful scenery view that they created for us to enjoy. And it's windy. So you can, oh look, there's one bird on the birdhouse right there. It's a brown little bird. Looks like a house sparrow, if I could be wrong. It looks like a house sparrow. So there's one. And there he goes. So walking out, out of this park area, we found a labyrinth, but it's not that kind of labyrinth. This is a meditation, mindful walking. There's nothing to figure out. There's nothing to, to do other than walk through. It's amazing. The labyrinth dating back to the BC. Coins from left, which date to the first few centuries BC, have not found depicting the famed labyrinth of this area. Wow, look, there's so much information. Here you guys, you can read it yourself. So a labyrinth is not a maze. It's a single walkable path that takes your, from the outside of the labyrinth to the center back and out. The center of the labyrinth is visible from the beginning, so there is no puzzle to figure out. It is not designed to trick or confuse you. This design allows the mind to focus as you walk. Nice. That is really interesting. Yeah, I could totally understand the meditation around this environment. You have birds flying above you, this beautiful landscape, and this meditation walkthrough. Nothing to figure out. Just enjoy the peace of nature and yourself. Nice. I love that. That's something I learned new today. Well, I mean, I learned a lot of things new today. <laughs> so we're leaving this part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We did. We got some good exercise. We got to learn about that people have drowned accidentally, 12 of them. So the question is, do you believe in ghosts? And do you believe that ghosts haunt Jacob's well? Stay tuned, see where we end up next.